In this video, we'll go over using the point-to-point -point move tool to precisely move objects from one point to another in order to align or snap objects together. In this example, we'll take a look at aligning a sill plate, stem wall, and a footing in a foundation detail. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure our snaps are turned on. Go to the edit menu and down to snap settings. From here, we need to make sure the snap settings we know we'll need are turned on. In particular, we'll likely want object snaps, endpoint, and midpoint snaps toggled on. First, click on one of the objects we want to move. On the edit toolbar, click on the point to point move tool. Next, Move your mouse to a spot on the first object you want to act as a reference point until you notice one of the snap indicators show up. In this case, we want to snap the center of the wall to the center of the top edge of the footing. So we'll look for the red triangle that indicates a midpoint snap. Click, and we'll notice a line and the outline of the object start to follow our mouse. Move the mouse to the object we're snapping to and in this case, we'll also look for a midpoint snap. Click again, and the objects should now be aligned. For the sill plate, we'll go from corner to corner. Click the sill plate, click point to point move, and hover over the corner to find the corner snap point, which should look like a red square. Click on the corner, and then let's move the mouse down to the top corner of the stem wall. Click once more, and the sill plate will snap to the corner of the wall. We can also use angle snaps when using the point-to-point -point move tool. Select the object or objects we want to move. Click on the point-to-point -point tool. Click on the object. And if we hold the shift key on our keyboard, we'll notice the line for the point-to-point -point move tool is snapping to our angle snaps. In this case, in 15 degree increments. We can use this to further control where and how we want our selected object to move. We can apply this tool to a wide variety of scenarios within the program. For example, we can use it to move a post to the corner of a porch, We can move a beam to the top of our posts. Or we can snap the side of a road to the end of a driveway.